it doesn't help anybody if you assume that because somebody's going through deconstruction, that they're doing it because they don't want to follow Jesus anymore. Uh, that's not a helpful assumption because more often than not, what I'm finding is young people that feel like they have to deconstruct in order to follow Jesus. Hmm. Um, you know, there, there's a, I use an illustration that I find be helpful for me. Maybe it will be for your listeners. Uh, my wife and I, we live here in Oregon, uh, grow our own tomatoes. We love tomatoes. Oregon tomatoes are the best. Hmm. And in the summertime, we often have people over for dinner. Yeah. Um, and from time to time, we will have somebody come over that doesn't like tomatoes. Hmm. And they'll say, we don't like tomatoes, but we'll still serve the tomatoes anyways. Hmm. And they'll eat, and then, and then we'll have them eat a tomato. And then they'll say, oh my gosh, I love tomatoes. And you begin <laughs> to learn uh, through enough tomatoes um, that people don't hate tomatoes. People hate fake tomatoes. Mm. Yeah. And they just haven't tasted real tomatoes yet. The, yeah. the truth is, I think a lot of people are not deconstructing Christianity. They're deconstructing fake Christianity because they haven't tasted the real stuff yet. Right. So I need to assume and not, I don't, I don't, I should not assume that just because somebody's walking through a questioning period of their journey, that they're not passionate or hungry for Jesus. Mm -hmm. 